Hey YouTube, this is Southern Prepper 1 and welcome to Boots on the Ground and News You Should Know. Let's get right into it. Moody's downgraded on Friday the government rating. It went from stable to negative. Uh, this was basically due to the large yearly deficit and our large debt that they have created. This is from Tel Aviv, Israel. Israel is preparing for possibility of a Hamas terror attack uh, in Gaza and also Hezbollah using the same tactics in Lebanon using rockets filled with various forms of fentanyl. Uh, this would be used to kill people or incapacitate them. This would be a very, very scary attack. Uh, this comes from Breitbart. Also, the mortgage service company, Mr. Cooper, uh, they've been dealing with a cyber attack for more than a week and it's disrupted their customer access to the company's site and their payment platform. This is one of the larger mortgage companies. I think they have 4.3 million customers and they have a mortgage servicing, I think, of over $937 billion. So this cyber attack has really crippled them and it's really hurt a lot of people. This is coming from the online newspaper, The Hill. Japanese automakers are announcing that they've made some concessions to their workers. This is to make it more fair with their workers compared to what the big three just got in concessions. Basically, they're going to increase their wages. Uh, Honda is going to do it. Toyota is going to do it. They're also going to give them some other fringe benefits and move up their how long it takes to get to the top pay scale from, I think, six years to three years. So this is definitely caused by the concessions the big three gave to their workers. This is a person that sent this in. I just called Chase Bank, and this is a couple days old. I just called Chase Bank and another issue. Uh, but there's an automatic message that says, a system issue affecting the ACH debit and credit sent to us as well as to other banks. The originators of these deposits are, we're working with to resend payment files and we'll post them as soon as we can. I asked the customer service agent about that. And she said, because of the Veterans Day and some employers might not get paid until Monday or later. I followed up with a family member, this person said, and, and told them what was going on with Chase. And one of my sisters said, my mortgage payment, they just added a zero. So it was $20,000 payment instead of a $2,000 payment today. And her bank is First Republican Bank. So having everything online is very convenient for us. Uh, it's very fast. But also, when there is a problem, it can make major ripples across our economy. This person says, I'm writing to ask for prayer for the people of East and Southeast Kentucky. This area was hit with catastrophic floods just a little over a year ago, and now they're battling wildfires. We are just a couple of counties north of the area. Uh, we have not been affected as of yet, praise God, but this area is some of the poorest in Eastern Kentucky, and I know most of these people probably do not have any type of insurance. Please keep them in your prayers. Also got this one from about the fires that they have in West Virginia. We have about 80 active fires across the state. So yes, please pray for these people, Plus, especially if they're not insured. This could be just devastating to lose it, either from fire or from a flood. This person sent me this. In the average year, the United States government uh, spends about $51.05 billion to other countries for foreign aid. How could that money be used more effectively here in the United States? And they give an example. They said $25 billion to solve hunger in America per year. And that source came from Hunger Free America. Oh, $20 billion could be sent to solve homelessness in America. Source, Department of Housing and Urban Development. With the remaining $6 billion, we could give all $3.8 billion teachers almost a $1,600 cash bonus, a very small token. And I agree, all those causes would be great to deal with. But I think the biggest cause is getting the federal government uh, smaller, creating uh, the ability so public and me and you can use our money more wisely instead of paying it in taxes. So all those things are great, but I think we need to shrink the government by 50% and that will probably help more. This is from the Los Angeles Times. The suicide deaths of four current and former LA Sheriff's Department employees over a 24 hour span has prompted a plea from Sheriff urging deputies to check on the well-being of their colleagues and friends. 
There is no indication that their deaths were related or that the foul play was involved. But the department sources who spoke on the condition of anonymity, um, because the ongoing investigation said the third and fourth deaths were discovered as word of the earlier deaths were spreading through the agency. Suicide is a problem. Um, also, in the military, suicide is a problem. If you have suicidal thoughts, please seek help. There's a lot of agencies out there. The Winter Reliability Assessment Report by the North America Electric Reliability Corporation warned of a high risk of insufficient energy supply during extreme cold spells. And this includes large parts of the U.S. and Canadian. Um, it affects probably 180 million people. So they might not have enough power. So that's more reason as preppers. Uh, to secure your own backup power, be it a generator, be it some type of solar battery system, just so you can keep your refrigerator and freezer running and any key medical devices you have. Basically, take responsibility for yourself. This was sent to me. A million chickens on a Minnesota egg farm will be slaughtered to stop the spread of bird flu. So that's a lot of eggs out of production. They also said... Uh, a Minnesota case, the USDA said there was about 27,000 turkeys would be killed in a farm and 17,000 would be slaughtered on two other farms in Iowa. So many birds being put down because of bird flu. So you might want to secure your turkey as soon as possible. This comes pretty close to me, Oconee County. Uh, this person said that their school cafeteria is a nationwide shortage of cartons. Just the cartons is the problem. To provide milk uh, for schools. And I did check on that. This is a nationwide problem. So a cardboard problem. Uh, who would have thought that the mighty empire of the United States would have problems sourcing cardboard boxes for children to have milk at school? This comes from Reuters. A defective drone in Iraq may have helped America from being dragged deeper into the widening Middle East conflict. The drone, which was launched against one of our bases, uh, penetrated the air defense and crashed into the second floor of a barracks housing American troops. This failed to explode. It did injure some people just because of the concussion from the impact of the drone, uh, but we did get very lucky. This was packed with explosives and could have caused major damage and could have killed U.S. service members. This comes from a person that works in the hospital. Um, my ch children's hospital has been overwhelmed again by RSV, bronchitis, and asthma patients. A four-month-old came into the ER today in full arrest, did not survive. These respiratory problems can be fatal. Please tell people to wash their hands. Take any respiratory illness in a child seriously as it can escalate quickly. Hospitals are still short-staffed on any given day. Prevention is everything. This comes from Zero Hedge. Back in July, when we last looked at the, uh, the horror stories, that was the U.S. budget deficit. It was getting very close to being $1 trillion every year just in the interest payment. Now it is officially crossed over. So we are going to be paying a mil or excuse me, a trillion dollars every year on interest payments. What could we do as a country with a trillion dollars if we did not have to pay? this large payment. You've probably all heard this as many days ago, but the Reaper drone that was shot down uh, by Yemen forces, the Houthi forces, uh, they shot down this Reaper drone. The situation in the Middle East is heating up. Some might say, why hasn't it kicked off yet? Um, the Arabs have said, you know, if they go into Gaza, the game is on. I think they're all getting ready. I think they're trying to position more forces. Uh, I'm hoping that both sides do not want a more regional war. Uh, it'd be devastating for everyone involved. There'll be no winners. The only winners will be were people that manufacture uh, military equipment in the military industrial complex. That will be the only winner. The average person on the ground will lose. You've probably heard that the FBI was granted the money necessary, $300 million to build uh, a, a new office for the FBI. And this was said to be larger than the Pentagon. I find that hard to believe because the Pentagon is massive, but 300 million to build a new office building. If you've been keeping up with the Israeli airstrikes in Syria, um, 
there was a fresh seven Hezbollah fighters killed in Syria uh, by Israel. Uh, this number is getting higher and higher. I, I think it's just a powder keg ready to go off. Tons and tons, I think up to a thousand now, of earthquakes that have happened in Iceland. This has caused very much a warning that there could be a major eruption. Um, so hopefully this is not a huge problem because they have a volcano that could go up. Uh, this has done it before. It's called massive problems. Uh, so hopefully Iceland is ready for this if they do have a volcano eruption. But it's looking like it will erupt. The U.S. House of Representative Republicans are trying to unveil a stopgap measure. And I think they're going to do it today. And this is to avert a government shutdown. It seems like they did that extension for six weeks and they would have been working on it weeks ago, but they're bringing it right to the end. By November 17th, they have to have this finished and finalized. So they do not have another government shutdown. NATO Secretary General said that uh, Russian President Putin has made the world more dangerous um, because he's decided to walk away from an international nuclear agreement. He's blaming the Russians uh, for, for making the world unsafe. Uh, I find this a little hilarious seeing we have 800 military bases throughout the world. We invaded many sovereign countries. Uh, we're pushing most of our military out, either in the area of Ukraine or we're pushing it out into the Middle East. Uh, so I don't think Putin is the only one to blame for this the world becoming more dangerous. Uh, I also heard that we are moving some more nuclear weapons to uh, the area of Israel. And right now we have nuclear, tactical nuclear weapons stockpiled in Belgium, Germany, Italy, Netherlands, Turkey, and probably many other places that are off the books. To close out, I hope you have a great Veterans Day. I uh, appreciate everyone that has served. Uh, hopefully, we will not need our military in Israel or in Ukraine. Hopefully, peace will prevail. And the last thing, I want you to smile because I think this is a joke. This person said, I called my stockbroker this morning asking him what I should be buying. He said, canned goods and ammunition. And I agree with that. Uh, canned goods and ammunition will be probably more expensive in a year, and they're just a great investment. Thanks for watching.